So one thing you can do is to not let the navigation stack build up, right? Yeah. That's another solution. Prevent the problem. Because here it's, as you say, that's the passive approach. It's like you deal with the problem when you receive the memory warning. <laughs> and the proactive approach is not to have a memory warning in the first place, right? Yeah. yeah. And this can get out of hand as well, because as you said, you can have a very complex navigation with tab bars, with modules, and this code here would have to know how to navigate through all this stack and know what it can free or not. And this can get like thousands of lines of code at some point. <laughs> yeah. This is the quick and dirty solution. The other one is not to even let the navigation stack build up. So let's see. Uh, you should say show detail, show image, detail. Where is it? Show next image. Show next image. All right. So this is the code that will pop or push the navigation controller. So one thing you can do is before pushing the new one, you pop the last one that is already there. So you always have only, if you go back, you'll go to the first screen that started this flow, but you don't build up like thousands of your controllers in the stack. So this is another thing you could do. Uh, let's see here, controllers equals navigation controller, view controllers. Then you can remove the last one before you add a new one. Instead of pushing, you use the set view controllers will be controllers plus the new one, the image detail. They made it true. Let's see. So this way you can still navigate. We just cannot remove on the first one. So otherwise we don't have a home to navigate back. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So it doesn't build up, but it's fine if you have nothing to go back as well. If that's the use case, like you, yeah. it's, it's a transition, right? There's no going back. If you want to go back, that's fine. You can even check if controllers uh, count bigger than one, right? Then you remove last. Then you always have at least two. But it doesn't build up. It never goes more than what three hundred. As soon as it presents one, it pops the other one and frees the memory. So it's always three hundred. It doesn't build up until two gigabytes. <laughs> yeah. 